Probiotics are certain life gests and bacteria that, when administered in adequate amounts, confer health benefits to the person who consumes them. There's a large number of probiotics, but the best known and best studied species are Lactobacillus, Bifidobacterium, and Saccharomyces, as well as Streptococcus thermophilus. Probiotics are found in some foods, but they're also added to the formulations of certain medicines in dietary supplements. Probiotics serve to cure many diseases. However, it should be noted that each one of them in particular exerts only some specific therapeutic actions, in such a way that some strains can complement the action of others to broaden their curative spectrum. That is, there's a synergetic effect where the combination of different probiotics is superior to that obtained by each one individually. The following are the main foods rich in probiotics. Each of them contains from 10 to 35 strains of this, in addition to other beneficial components for the body, such as vitamins, minerals, and enzymes. Here they go. Yogurt. The best yogurt is the one that only contains milk and lactic ferments, that is whole natural yogurt. Yogurts with sweeteners or other sugars are not recommended. Raw cheese. It contains a large number of strains of Lactobacillus casei bacteria. Dark chocolate without sugar. Its probiotic content is up to four times higher than in dietary products. Olives. Olives preserved in brine are a great source of probiotics. Milk kefir. It's obtained through the fermentation of certain yeasts and bacteria. It can come from different types of milk, such as goat, cow, sheep, soy, coconut, and even rice. Water kefir. It's made with a culture of bacteria in yeasts capable of generating different species of probiotics without the need for dairy or animal products. It's especially useful for vegan or lactose intolerant individuals. Natto. Made from fermented soybeans. Kombucha. It's a fermentation based on black or green tea and a symbiotic colony of bacteria and yeasts. Tempe, it comes from the fermentation of soybeans. Miso, made from fermented soybean, rice, or barley seeds. Kimchi, it's obtained from the fermentation of vegetables, mainly cabbage, although some recipes may incorporate other vegetables. Sauerkraut, it's obtained through the fermentation of white cabbage. And microalgae, also high in probiotics. In addition to these foods, probiotics can also be purchased as supplements, which are available in different forms, for example, capsules or powder sachets. As already mentioned, each of the different probiotics doesn't exert all the therapeutic actions, but some strains can complement the action of others. These are the diseases and the specific probiotics useful for their relief. Diarrhea. The best probiotics for this problem are Saccharomyces boulardii, Lactobacillus rhamnosus, and Bacillus clausii. Constipation. In this case, the most effective probiotics are Lactobacillus and Propionibacterium freudenreichi, Helicobacter pylori gastritis, Lactobacillus of various species such as Jansoni, Brevis, Reuteri, and Casei, as well as Streptococcus thermophilus, Nervous colitis, Lactobacillus, Bifidobacterium longum, Bifidobacterium infantis, and Saccharomyces boulardii. Non-alcoholic fatty liver, Bifidobacterium longum, and Lactobacillus bulgaricus, which also help detoxify the liver. High cholesterol in the blood, Lactobacillus acidophilus and Bifidobacterium animalis. Full odor from the mouth, namely halitosis. Streptococcus thermophilus, Lactobacillus salivarius, and Bacilla sibaria. Absorption disorders of vitamins and minerals, Bacillus coagulans and Lactobacillus acidophilus. Low immune defenses, Bifidobacterium animalis, Bifidobacterium bifidum, Lactobacillus brevis, and Lactobacillus caseis help strengthen the immune system. Urinary tract infection, Lactobacillus plantarum, bacterial vaginosis, Lactobacillus species such as Rhamnosus, Reuteri, Crispatus, and Acidophilus, and finally, anxiety and depression, Lactobacillus rhamnosus, and Bifidobacterium. The mechanisms of action common to most probiotics are 
production of short chain fatty acids and acidification of the medium, regulation of gastrointestinal transit, normalization of the microbiota, that is, of the intestinal flora, increased regeneration of enterocytes, which are cells that line the intestines, competitive exclusion of harmful germs, vitamin synthesis, direct antagonism against other bacteria, strengthening of the intestinal barrier, metabolism on bile salts, neutralization of carcinogenic substances and production of bioactive substances. If you choose to take natural probiotics, one or more of the foods with probiotics should be included in the daily menus, since the benefits provided by them require their regular consumption. Yogurt, cheese, dark chocolate, olives, and kefir are foods that are easily found in the markets of most countries. As for foods of Asian origin based on soybeans, legumes, and vegetables, such as miso, natto, kimchi, and tempeh, they can be bought in specialized stores or purchased online. On the other hand, probiotic supplements, which come primarily in capsule or powder form, are available at pharmacies and specialty or health food stores and should be administered according to the manufacturer's directions. Probiotic supplements should be taken between or near meals so that the meals help bacteria survive stomach acid and reach the intestine, where they can multiply more easily. Probiotics are recommended for one to four weeks, depending on the disease being treated. The use of probiotics is considered safe in people of any age, in pregnancy, and even in pediatric patients. It's important to remember that in addition to the consumption of probiotics, a healthy diet rich in fibers should also be maintained, since fibers are the main foods for probiotics, which favors their survival in the intestine. There are many different medicines and supplements on the market that contain from one to many strains of probiotics. The disease for which these are to be taken should be considered in order to choose the appropriate strains. Here we provide examples of some of the many existing trademarks, their content and main indications. Floratil contains Saccharomyces boulardii, indicated in diarrhea and as a restorer of the intestinal flora. Cinebrase, which contains Bacillus clausis pores, indicated in diarrhea, intestinal gas, constipation, and inflammation, as well as to restore the balance of the intestinal flora. Lactofloracis cured, formulated with Lactobacillus plantarum, American cranberry extract, and vitamin C, indicated in urinary tract infections and adjuvant to the normal functioning of the immune system. Lactoflora protector, which is formulated with Lactobacillus rhamnosus and vitamin A, indicated in bacterial vaginosis. Probimel contains Streptococcus thermophilus, is used in inflammatory bowel diseases, gastritis, and as a booster of the immune system. In general, each product contains a certain dose of probiotics, which is noted on the package label, as well as their doses and indications. Well, now you know, there are many diseases that can be cured with probiotics in a simple and natural way. This is all for now. It was very pleasant to share this video of great use for your health and that of your loved ones. See you soon.